Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NBA slate for tonight, three-game slate. I actually uh, had a little bit of a run last night. I, as I mentioned in our in our preview, I wanted to stack that Phoenix game. I thought it was going to be a close game, and I thought that the Stars were going to show out. I was partially right. It was a very close game, but then Booker got pulled in the third quarter for an injury or something like that. So all the scoring came from other, you know, from from people not Booker. Um, but my main lineup didn't have Booker in it. So I finished in the top 20 in the big one, which was you know, pretty respectable to say the least. So let's see if we can't uh, keep it going um, tonight. A little three game slate. And it looks a little different than, than it used to. Um, you, it used to be you had like Embiid and one other guy that you really wanted to jam in. That's when Denver was on the slate. You used to have want to have to jam in and beat in uh, Jokic, but now it's a little more spread out over at the top. Um, I, I have Embiid as a pretty good play, as a really good play, and I have Giannis really, really close to him. I mean, pretty much dead even. But then you have Tatum, who's rating to be an extremely strong play as well. Um, not to mention, it's not that much of a drop, at least the way I'm ranking these guys. To Harden, I mean, at 8,900 is pretty appealing. And then I'm actually seeing Vooch as a really strong play here as well. So I think this is going to be a sneaky – this is going to be a sneaky slate. I think that – I think you can get this done with um, – maybe without playing some of these studs. Um, I, studs meaning Embiid or, or Giannis. And if the value is as weak as it – it usually is in the playoffs because listen, let's face it. They don't play a lot of reserves, a lot of minutes. Um, then you might want to build, make a middle league type build. Uh, so I'm just kind of giving you random, random slate comments. I think that's the way I'm going to attack this. But when I look at my numbers by, by point per dollar, I'm trying to take a look at where value is going to be guys. The, the guy that shows up as a top value is, is, is Marcus smart at 5,800. That's normally not what you can, you know, think about when you think of value. You know, you think of like these, you know, 3,500 guys at 7X, but Marcus Smart, 5,800, almost 6X. Um, that's the best you're going to get as far as value goes. And I'm looking at him at 52% ownership. Um, I hate to be that exact, but that's just what, what I'm looking at right now. And I, I guess that's what, what it's going to be. I mean, it's probably going to be a pretty, you know, it's probably going to be 50% plus and, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to do that. And then I'm getting Danny Green at 3,600, rating at about 5.7x and a 40% owned Danny Green. Is that really happening? I don't know. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the plays that are kind of, kind of calling my name here. Um, again, this is going to be probably a short preview, but. I mean, I'm looking at Vooch, as I mentioned. Number one, he's a good play. Number two, he's at a direct, not direct pivot, he's a positional pivot off of Embiid, which is what I like. Um, and then what you could do is kind of flow into the next, the next deal, meaning another guy in the middling range at 7,400. And that is another kind of like anti-stud pivot and that would be Chris Middleton. You know, you play him at 7,400 and Boots at 7,300. Um, this way, and you don't play Embiid and you don't play Giannis. And that's certainly something that you could do here. I haven't even dealt with Tatum yet, but, but you know, what, what I'd love to do on this slate is I'd, I'd, I would love to fade Smart. I'd love to fade Danny Green at these types of ownerships. I'm also seeing Alex Caruso at 40% owned, you know, 4,300. I think, I think the reason why these guys are high owned, like Danny Green and Caruso, I guess it makes sense is because people are going to really want to get to, to Giannis and, and, and the like, but I don't know. I, I, maybe, maybe you just don't have to. Maybe you don't have to. I, I think that's, I don't know. I really, really like the slate. And I haven't liked these three, these three game slates yet because it just seemed like, you know, I have to like play this fishy value with this, with these studs, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of liking this. Um, you have the combination of, of this value not being, I mean, that, Marcus Smart, that great. 
at that great value, 5,800. I mean, I'd rather, I mean, you could play Tatum. I wonder if you could do that. Probably can't, right? What's, what's, if you play Tatum, you can't, I don't think you play all three of these guys without trying to play that cheapo value. Um, and not to say it's bad, but I would love to fade it somehow. I'd love to fade Green, and I would love to fade Caruso. But if you did this, like you played Tatum, that's when that's when you're just kind of forced to play these five K. So, so maybe if you could make a build without any of those guys, um, middle, and then you could play guys like Middleton. You could play Vooch problem is you kind of run out of guys to play you know what you could play i'll tell you i'll tell you what you can play you could play zach Levine. that's something you could do why is it that i don't have any uh not they don't have any you can play derosa I mean, you are going to have to do something with value. You can't play all seven Ks because then you're like running out of money. But Middleton, Levine, maybe Van Fleet. Maybe that's something you could do also. Man, maybe, maybe, maybe you do need to play these five Ks. But what you could do is you could play those five K guys. You could play the Marcus Smarts and the Alex Caruso's and not play any of the studs. Is that asking for trouble? That's a very legitimate question, right? If you don't play any, any of these guys, and be Giannis or, or Tatum, and that means you're not playing probably hard too. Are you asking for it? Probably. I think that's what I'm interested in here. And this is where, by the way, I would run some, some Sabre Sim simulations to see how much I'm really killing myself by not doing this. Because once again, when I rate these by points per dollar, I mean, it's just no, it's just no value on the slate. I mean, Danny Green, 40%. Oh, crud. Yeah, Gary Trent, you want to do something like that at 5K? Want to go back to, ooh, you want to go back to Chris Boucher after I think he disappointed? Well, actually, he didn't disappoint. He did play 30 minutes. Well, that's that's something you could do. I mean, he's not projecting well for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. I guess I guess Barnes might, might be playing. Let's see. No, he's doubtful. Anything else? Uh, any anybody else? You know that uh, is impacting Boucher. Yeah, let's do that. You can play Boucher forty five hundred. What else can you play at forty five hundred? Because that's what you're gonna be looking for. Nicholas Claxton, no thanks. What about Seth Curry? Start. Hey, Seth Curry starting thirty minutes. Get hot, yeah. But I mean, you really want to play someone with these against with all these Brooklyn guys? I don't know. Um, what other value is there? It's back to Danny Green. I mean, we talked about this in the, in, the, in the show the other day. What, what did he end up getting? He must have had a good game. Only twenty three. It seemed like he made a hundred shots. And he only had 23 fantasy points. You know what? Someone else can play Danny Green. How about that? Someone aside from Eric Haber can play Danny Green. Who else can you play here? Um, Boucher, Seth Curry. How about Tice at 4,500? What, what do we think he's going to do?
He only played 20 minutes the last game, but he was bad. He was like one for six, right? No, oh, he's been, he was doing well leading into the playoffs, though. But look, four fouls, one for six in the field in 20 minutes. That's, I would go, you know what? Let's go back to him. I think that's a great idea, actually. So you can do this, you know, if you want, but you're going to have to make a decision about whether you, you can fade all these, all these studs. Cause I mean, one of them probably is going to do something, um, to say the least, but you, all these guys are good players. You know what I mean? Like all these guys can put up ceilings. And as, as you, and if you look at this, you know, Van Fleet doesn't really get in the way of Boucher. Levine, okay, doesn't exa isn't exactly the greatest correlation with Vooch, but it's not that bad. Middleton, we're hoping that he just takes the honest points. You know, maybe Tice grabs some rebounds that Tatum otherwise would have gotten. I don't know. I kind of like the state. All right, so sorry about this. Uh, pretty pretty quick overview, but uh, I'm sure that Bobby will try to break it all down live a little bit later. But overall, that's my initial take is that try to uh, try to avoid the Danny Greens, try to avoid the Marcus Smarts and, uh, and the Alice Caruso's. And, hey, if you want, you can try to avoid the, the, the big studs too and play a middling bill. That's my initial thought. That'll do it.